Welcome to Dark Star. Hi, Norma Gino. Today we're gonna decide between the hamburger and the taco. Which one is the best one? Let's go! We have Vice President Pino Gris defending the hamburger side, and we have Senator Rico Balboa defending the Taco Bells. Andiamo! Pino Gris! Scarto! The hamburger has a history going back all the way through time. One of the earliest recipes we have is from the Roman era, calling for finely chopped meat and onions to be fried on a metal plate and served in a bread. This is just a hamburger. If it's been delicious for that long, it is still delicious now. No food is as versatile as the hamburger. You can eat it with cheese, any condiments, and in all the arrangements. Come out! How did you know all of that? <laughs> some of it I make up, and some of it's probably true. Okay. okay, first of all, tacos are super versatile. You can you can have tacos of all different sorts of uh, and all different flavors. I mean, different recipes. You can have big tacos, small tacos. You can have tacos from different regions. They are not very expensive. They are very very good, and they're actually quite healthy. You can have also vegetable tacos if you don't eat meat so i mean i think i think they're pretty cool mm, the history of the taco is pretty pretty interesting too but oh no i don't have that <laughs> <laughs> you're evil peanut Dosta. Okay, that was actually pretty interesting. New notions, new knowledge, new things. Uh, yeah, that's good. Now uh, we go with the second round. Let's go! The tacos are versatile, but the hamburger is even more versatile. With tacos, the options of your wrap are corn tortilla or flour tortilla. With the hamburger, you can have a pretzel bun, a potato bun, you can have a Kaiser roll, a hard, another kind of hard roll, or you can have a soft American style bread. You can even have no bread at all, and some people still call this a hamburger, although everyone else calls it meatloaf for some reason. Okay, first of all, I have something to say. There are people that put pineapple on their hamburgers, and that's a sin. That's completely a sin. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to respect that and just make sure to, to, to put it clear that tacos are super versatile also because you can put one taco next to another taco, open a taco, and then boom, you create a super taco and you can iterate this and have like multi-level tacos. And not, not many people know about this, but this is great. And you can put cheese, it's also cool. Time out though. Really, really, really interesting. Uh, apart from the pineapple, yeah, we don't put pineapple as well in pizza, but that's another story. Who is winning in this debate? I'll tell you in the next episode. <laughs> the winner is... Romagino! <laughs> I was not expecting that. What? <laughs> the winner is... Pino? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> because the situation in America is really shit, oh. so I, I just let her win because of not the <laughs> I don't want your pity. Thank you for watching! I hope you enjoyed this video! If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel! See you in next video!